Good morning from the Amalfi Coast. Today we're going to visit the town of Positano, which is probably the most famous town on the Amalfi Coast. We're staying in the town of Amalfi, which I highly recommend if you have to choose between the towns on the Amalfi Coast, but more on that later. We're gonna take the ferry from Amalfi to Positano. You can also take the bus and I'm pretty sure that you can get there with a taxi but I think the ferry is a really nice way of moving around between towns on the Amalfi Coast. We got on the ferry, it left on time, everything went smoothly and so we began our journey towards Positano. It only took about 20 to 30 minutes to get there, not bad at all. We were actually on a very tight schedule here. We arrived in Positano at around 11 a.m. and we booked a boat for 2 p.m. Our tasks for the day are to explore Positano, take a picture in the iconic Positano picture location, have lunch, go on the boat and take a four-hour boat ride along the Amalfi coast starting in Positano, going all the way down to Amalfi and then back to Positano. And then we're not sure if we want to have dinner in Positano or back in Amalfi, but either way we're going to have to A, have dinner and B, get back to our hotel in Amalfi. Our next stop was to get lunch and we found this restaurant that was located on this beautiful terrace. Look at the view! This is the menu if you want to pause to check it out. Once again, I have said it before, the food here is incredible. We didn't have much time, so we only had a main, but the starters, everything looked so good, but we, we had to be quick. <laughs> We finished our lunch and then we actually ended up having some time before our boat appointment. So we just stopped by one of the bars in the restaurants around the beach and had an Aperol spritz. And then it was time for our boat appointment. We rented this boat for four hours for a round trip tour of the Amalfi Coast from Positano to Amalfi and back. If you're curious, the boat was 550 euros for the boat for four hours, including someone to operate it. It was just the two of us on the boat, but this boat could actually fit up to seven people. So if you are looking at renting a boat for a 
slightly larger group, the cost could be split between more people, or if it's just a couple of you, you can also get a smaller boat for cheaper. The Amalfi Coast is made out of several different towns along the coastline. In terms of where you should stay, we stayed in the town of Amalfi, which I loved and would highly recommend. And then we also visited towns that are called Minori, Maiori, Atrani, and now Positano. All these towns are really cute and are directly on the coastline. Amalfi, I think, is the most vibrant and lively out of those that I mentioned, except Positano, which I don't know what it's like in the evening, but as I said before, I think it's just a bit too lively during the day. And then Minori and Maiori are really good options, but I personally found them to be a lot quieter than Amalfi, which is not a bad thing at all. I just really liked how vibrant and lively Amalfi was, even at night. And also, Amalfi, Minori, Maiori, and Atrani have a local feel because people actually live there, whereas Positano, like I said, just feels like a theme park. There are also towns further away from the shore, up in the hills, and those can be nice options if you're on a budget, but keep in mind that it'll take you longer to move around because not only will you be further away from the coast and therefore from the famous towns and the ferries and main roads and buses, so it'll take you a lot more time and effort to travel around the area, but also it's up in the mountains where the only way to get there is often a small serpentine one-way road. So maybe on the map it won't look too far, but keep in mind that it's not just a straight line to get there. We got the four hour boat ride, but there was also an option for an eight hour sail that would take us to the island of Capri and you can step out and have lunch there. But I think eight hours would have been too much. The four hours on the boat were more than enough. Between the boat rocking and being in the sun and swimming in the sea, it's really tiring. So I'm happy that we opted for the four hour option. I think it was just the perfect amount of time. We were done with the boat tour and decided not to have dinner in Positano, so we waited for the ferry to take us back to Amalfi. We went back to our hotel, took a shower, changed and walked to the nearby town of Atrani, which is where we had dinner on our first night there. This is the menu if you want to pause to read. Once again, the food was so good. Yeah. 
Then we walked home through the cool tunnel. We didn't have dessert at the restaurant, so we stopped by this pasticceria to have it there. We shared a ricotta and pear cake, which I love. It's so light and refreshing. And that was the end of our last full day in the Amalfi Coast. The next morning we had breakfast and then I also wanted to have something from the pasticceria we went to last night, so we went and had a second breakfast. And we are leaving! We headed over to Naples to leave the car at the rental place and get a train to Milan. And then tomorrow I have a flight from Milan back to London. It was such a cool trip. I posted two other videos from this trip, so check them out if you haven't already. And I think I'm also gonna combine all three videos into just one, probably about an hour long full experience video, so that if you enjoy longer videos you can watch that. This was such a cool trip and I hope you enjoyed the videos from it as much as I enjoyed making them. Thanks for watching, see you later.